All right, folks, today's challenge is to keep these copper pipes from freezing. Okay, a little background. This is a well over 100-year-old house uh, in southern Illinois that has uh, already had an incident with these pipes freezing once. Um, and that was basically while the house was inhabited when it was being heated fully. Uh, Right now, there's going to be times when it's not going to be uh, inhabited, so it's going to, the heat is going to be turned way down. So these pipes are going to get colder than ever, so we definitely have to do something with them. Now, the thing is, I could just put heat tape on these and call it a day, uh, and it's going to be running fairly often. I want to be able to control that, so to that end, I've uh, worked out a situation where I'll be able to turn these on and off and monitor them uh, remotely, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Lot of the hard work and that is uh, got one of these remote thermostatic uh, Wi-Fi enabled switches uh, which I can control from anywhere in the world I've wired it in line uh, with just a standard outlet and the reason I use this type is this is actually a circuit breaker just a belts and suspenders approach to making sure nothing goes wrong up here um, and again, I wire the uh, the neutral and the hot into this device. Uh, obviously, there. If you need more information on that, check my other video on this subject where I uh, use a space heater. I use one of these to control a space heater in the bathroom. That's right on the other side of that wall, folks. Uh, so basically, what I'm going to do here is I've got an outlet over there. Uh, just just installed it, uh, and I'm going to install heat tape on those naked pipes and I'm going to hook it to this and then I'll show you how I'm going to set it up to make sure we never ever ever have a problem here again with freezing pipes. All right and here are the heat tapes I will be using. Uh, they're both very similar different manufacturers but uh, both 12 foot heat shrinks uh, they come or uh, heat tapes they come with uh, metallic tape for actually wrapping and uh, basically connecting it and holding it against the pipe um they both have nice long cords uh, this one longer than the other um here's the here's the meat and potatoes part this is a, a thermostat basically this is in line between the the power cord that's attached and the heating element and what this does it just senses the temperature of the pipe itself so it's very important that this is well connected to the pipe uh and these they're both very similar they both uh will turn on at about 37 degrees Fahrenheit uh, and turn off at 50 degrees. Now that's way, way more than I really need. The pipes just need to be slightly above freezing, but uh, whenever I put in the Wi-Fi device, I'll be able to have an extra level of control that will let me fine tune what I want to do. So, all right. and this particular tape uh, comes with an adhesive backing that has to be peeled away. Um, so your tape may not be exactly that way, but the important, most important connection you're going to make here with the tape is getting the actual thermostatic unit here, uh, the switch, if you will, uh, just batten down really tight against the, uh, against the pipe itself. So you can see it's held down now with two pieces of tape. Uh, and then I'm going to just do the same with, I've just pre-cut some tape here. I'm just going to start wrapping it uh, at intervals along here and follow the length of the uh, the pipe. All right, as you can see, I'm putting it on. I put a couple pieces to go around this corner, keeping the tape in tight contact with the uh, with the pipe, and I'll just continue down this side. And a slight change in technique. The Peeling the backing off of this tape is very difficult. Now, it may not be the same with whatever tape you end up using, uh, but I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and uh, peel it as I go and cut it as I go so I don't spend so much time trying to get the corner. It's kind of like trying to get the end of a roll of scotch tape that's that's hiding from you. So this this should be a much, much quicker process. All right. 
right, I've got a little extra tape whenever I get to this junction here. Now, I have a choice. You can see the pipes both split off and go right and go straight. Uh, thing is, there's a, there's a sink down that wall. There's a toilet on this wall. I'm not quite sure where that one goes yet, the hot water. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this one down uh, and then through along the bottom here. Uh, just with the thought of keeping this whole side a little warmer and then I'm going to run the other one straight down this pipe again with the thought that the extra heat will help keep this wall cavity warmer uh, just by virtue of being uh, well above freezing whenever the tape's running. Plus I've got the space heater in the bathroom behind there which will additionally keep the walls from getting cold enough to matter. So um just making it up as I go along, folks, so stick with me. Okay, that's what that looks like. I'll put another piece there just to hold it a little firmer. Uh, but yeah, it just heads down that wall, keeping that cavity warmer whenever the tape's running. So now I'll put the other piece of tape on. All right, and here's how I finished off this one. I brought it in around here. There really wasn't room to get it through that hole. Uh, they don't line up perfectly between the two pieces of wood there. Uh, brought it, wrapped it around both of the pipes here uh, to use up all the excess, uh, which will warm both of these pipes, uh, probably making the need for the space heater a lot less. Uh, so I had to pull the insulation out of the wall to do that. I'll tuck it back in place and go on to the next step. All right, my next step is I'm going to connect the thermo, the thermocouple that tells my Wi-Fi device up here, um, which is right there. You can see it's powered on now. Um, and I'm going to connect the thermostat, the thermocouple rather, uh, directly to this pipe. And you notice this is the part of the pipe that's not heated. The heat starts over here. This is just electrical coming into the thermostat. So this this particular piece of pipe right here will be a good indication of the temperature of the rest of the pipe. And it will be cooler than the rest of the pipe, which is a good thing in this case, because that will allow me to have a little bit more margin to make sure that this is always turned on, that the, the thermostatic switch is always turned on. Uh, whenever the temperature of this pipe is anywhere near freezing. So, um, again, I'll do the setup a little later in the video, but for right now, I'm just going to tape this down. I'm going to put some extra tape on it. A good mechanical connection is really important here. Um, and I'll get that taped up and then move on. Okay, next I'm going to bring my heat tape power connectors around, plug them in to the switched outlet here. Okay, and it's time to check and make sure everything's working. So the next step. And now we get to find out whether the whole thing works or not, or at least supplies power to the tape. As you can see, uh, right now this, this thermocouple here is reading 81.7 degrees. It is early September, it is the attic, the sun is out, so that explains that. So I'm not really going to be able to turn on the tapes. I should mention I did test them both thoroughly uh, by dipping the thermocouples, uh, actually placing them between ice blocks uh, to make sure that they did uh, come on at the right temperature and they both warmed up appropriately. So uh, I know they work. So now just a matter of, I've turned off the thermostatic function of the switch, and I just have it as operating as a regular on-off remote switch via Wi-Fi. And I could do this from uh, anywhere in the world, by the way. So I'm going to turn it on. And you can see power to the outlet strip, power to the uh, the plug. The other one's not lighting up, but that's all right. Um, so I do have power to the strips. So now, uh, at this point, these thermostats would take priority uh, if the if these temperatures drop below 37 the strips will warm up heat up the pipes keep everything from freezing uh, but I'll show you uh, eventually 
how to set the thermostatic function of that switch. Right now I'm going to take the next step in my belts and suspender scheme and add insulation around these pipes, uh, both to keep the heat in and just as additional uh, protection against the cold. All right, first half is done. That's the larger pipe. Uh, it's pretty tight. It does seal up. This uh, particular tube uh, insulation is designed to adhere to itself. It did need a little extra tape just to make sure it stayed in place. Uh, but now I'm just gonna apply it to the smaller tube and it'll probably work even better. All right. Now all the pipes are not only heated with heat tape, but they are also insulated. Uh, belts and suspenders, folks. Now I just have to uh, get the insulation back in place there and move on to the next step. And the final step, I just had some extra insulation laying around, so I just laid it on top of the existing, uh, the existing pipes with the tubes. Everything else added the insulation on the next layer there. Uh, everything just to keep the cold out and any warmth in. I like to call this my belts and suspenders and staples approach. All right, and as promised, I'm going to show you how this all ties together. Uh, my EWE Link um, app, you can see uh, I've got this set up so that I've named that particular circuit the thermostat attic heater or heat strip rather, uh, I can turn it on and off. Now it's on. Now it's off. That's not really what I want to do. I want to come down here and put it on auto. And as you can see, I've already programmed it so that it is controlled by temperature. Um, some of the devices that are similar allow the controlling by humidity as well, which is kind of cool. This one doesn't. I don't need it. Um, I have this one set up to come on if the temperature on that thermocouple, which is right where the pipe comes out of the floor, um, is lower than 34 degrees, I may twiddle that a little higher. Uh, just play with it as the winter actually comes on. I'll, I'll check to make sure that's proper. And turn off at 36, because I don't really want them running um, full time when they don't have to. They don't burn that much energy, probably between 50 and 100 watts per uh, heat strip. But that's still 50 to 100 watts. Uh, or 100 to 200 for the, the circuit up there. So um, to enable the thermostatic control, I just do this, push save, and the uh, now I don't really have to worry about it. It will come on if the temperature drops below the trigger point there. And at that point, it will turn on the heat strips only if they sense that the um, that the temperature of the the pipes themselves are below 37 degrees and they'll turn off at 50 degrees. Now it's likely it'll be warmer on the heat strip portion of the tape, uh, the, the, the heat tape portion of the pipes. Uh, the, the heat will work its way back and I really wanted that extra time delay so it's just a conservative setting to say if the um, if I can keep the unheated portion of the pipe a few degrees above freezing, nothing's going to freeze up there. So uh, that's it, friends and neighbors. We got it uh, under control, just waiting for winter to arrive to find out just how the whole thing shakes out. And just because I know it's going to come up, um, just FYI, this is the device I ordered. Um, the, the key was I was already using the EWE link, which you can see referenced there app which i find to be a really a good one it's it, it also does uh control of um and display of power consumption voltage amperage if the device is is ready uh to provide that and you don't have to spend a lot of money to get there uh, but this is the one i bought uh you can see thermostat line in line out it's the one that controls the uh the the power strip that controls the plug-in uh heat strip heat types so um this is the one that's gonna get it done for you folks you don't have to spend a lot of money to do it either as you can see